In this video, we'll be solving a word problem in three variables. The number of blues was four less than the sum of the whites and the greens. Also, the number of greens equaled the sum of the blues and the whites. How many of each were there if there were twice as many blues as whites? Now this basically is a translation problem. So we're going to translate these sentences into algebraic sentences or equations. We'll use B for blues, W for whites, and G for greens. In the first sentence, the number of blues, so we would write B, was, that's where the equals is, for less than. Now whenever you see the words less than, you have to be careful. You're going to be subtracting 4 from something. So we're going to move the 4 over and put a minus in front of it. So this indicates 4 less than something. 4 less than the sum of the whites and the greens. So the sum of the whites and the greens. The second sentence, also, the number of greens equaled, so G equaled, the sum of the blues and the whites. So the sum of the blues and the whites. And then finally, our last sentence, how many of each were there if there were twice as many blues as whites? Now this one also you need to be careful with. You need to first ask yourself which of these is bigger, the blues or the whites. And since it says there's twice as many blues, that means the number of blues is a larger number than the number of whites. So blue has to stand alone on one side of the equation. And remember that an equation says that two things are equal, so blues are bigger, so we're going to have to multiply our number of whites by two. Now we have a system of three equations in three unknowns, and there are a number of ways to attack this problem. I'm going to do some substitution. B is equal to 2W, so let's do some substitution there. We'll put 2W into all of the places where I see a B. So this equation then becomes, put my 2W in for B, so 2W equals and I don't really need these parentheses, so I'll remove those. W plus G minus 4. And then also let's substitute into the second equation. In place of B, I'll put 2W. So this one becomes G is equal to 2W plus W. Now I'm down to two equations with two variables. I see that I have another substitution opportunity right here. G is equal to 2W plus W. So let's simplify this first. This is G is equal to 2W plus W is 3W. And now let's substitute 3w into this equation where I see the g because g is equal to 3w so I'll put it in right here so then this equation becomes 2w equals w plus and then in place of g I'll put 3w minus 4. Now I have a single equation with one variable. Let's do some simplifying. I can combine like terms here. So 2w 
is equal to w plus 3w is 4w minus 4. We'll subtract 4w from both sides. This will cancel. 2w minus 4w is negative 2w. And then on the right side, I just have negative 4. Dividing both sides by negative 2, these will cancel, and I get w is equal to 2. So my number of whites is 2. Now I'm going to work backwards. I know my w value is 2, so I can come back up here and find my value for g. g is equal to 3w. So I'll substitute 2 in for w, and I get g is equal to 3 times 2. So g is equal to 6. Now I have a value for both w and g, and I can come back up here. This would be the easiest one to sub back into. I know that b is equal to 2w, and I can put 2 in for w. So b is equal to 2 times 2. So my value for b is 4. So now I have four blues, two whites, and six greens.